Welcome students. Today we will solve third problem on kinematics of rigid bodies. So let us start today's lecture. So let us read the statement first. A pulley starting from rest is given an acceleration of 0.5 radian per second square. What will be its speed in RPM at the end of 2 minutes? If it is uniformly retarded at the rate of 0.3 radian per second square, in how many minutes the pulley will come to rest? So we are given one pulley and we have given this information that pulley has started from rest. It means initial angular velocity of the pulley is zero, that is omega naught is zero. And it is said that it is given an acceleration of 0.5 radian per second square. That means alpha is 0.5 radian per second square. And we are asked to find its speed, that is angular velocity, in RPM at the end of 2 minutes. So let us solve the first part. So what we are given? We are given initial angular velocity omega naught equal to zero because in the problem it is mentioned that pulley has started from rest. And then we are given angular acceleration alpha as 0.5 radian per second square. And we are given time as two minutes which will be equal to 120 second. And we have to find the angular velocity of the pulley after 2 minutes or 120 seconds and we know this is a case of uniformly accelerated motion so these three equations are applicable to this problem and we have to find omega now in these two equations we have the final angular velocity that is omega and let us see which equation we can apply now in this equation we need initial angular velocity that we have we need angular acceleration that also we have but we don't have theta so we cannot use this equation we have to use the first equation that is omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t so in this case we have initial angular velocity which is 0 alpha is 0.5 and time is 120 seconds so let us put these values we will get Omega is equal to 0 plus 0 0.5 into 120 and we will get omega as 60 radian per second. But in the question it is asked that we have to answer in revolution per minute. So let us convert this into revolution per minute. Let us see how we can convert. So we know that 2 pi radian per second is equal to 1 revolution per second. So 60 radian per second will be equal to 1.2 pi into 60 means we have to divide this value by 2 pi we will get 9.55 revolutions per second so omega will be equal to 9.55 revolution per second but we have to answer in rpm that is revolution per minute so we have to multiply this by 60 so we'll get our answer as 573 revolution per minute so we have got answer of the first part. Now let us see what we have to find in the B part. In the B part he says if it is uniformly retarded at the rate of 0.3 radian per second square in how many minutes the pulley will come to rest. Pulley will come to rest. That means final angular velocity is 0. Omega is 0. And what we are given alpha as minus 0.3 radian per second square because it is a retardation. So let us find the time. So let us find time in the B part. So retardation alpha is minus 0.3 radian per second square and pulley will come to rest that means final angular velocity will be 0 and the initial angular velocity will be 60 radian per second. Because when we applied the retardation, pulley was rotating with this value, 60 radian per second. 
So answer of the previous part will act as the initial angular velocity for the B part. So we know omega, we know omega naught, we know alpha, we have to find T. So in these three equations, we have T in these two equations. So let us apply the first equation that is omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. So let us put the value of omega as 0, omega naught as 60 and alpha as minus 0.3 into t. So from here we will get time as 200 seconds. So after 200 seconds pulley will come to rest. So we have got answer for the second part as well. So I hope this question is clear to you. Thank you very much.